What's good everyone, I'm I3D. Welcome back to another Texas Chainsaw Massacre video. In today's video, we'll be going over some of the fixes that you can expect in the next update, which comes April 16th. We have the eighth edition of the Moeto Times that's gonna give us a breakdown on what exactly the developers are working on. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to slash that like button and subscribe with notifications set to all so you don't miss out on future Texas content here on the channel. Now, as always, they break this down into three categories. They have their fits in testing, under investigation and needs more info. Now this is a smaller list than I expected and it's leaving out something that I really wanted them to talk about. But I am really happy that we are finally getting some word on what's going on, what they're working on because it has been a little frustrating having to deal with a lot of these issues in the game and not hearing anything back. So finally, let's jump into it. What can we expect in the next update? For fits in testing, we have family unable to be door stunned. This is mainly for Leatherface, I believe. I haven't noticed it with any other family members, but Leatherface just straight up wasn't able to be door stunned. I don't know what caused it or why. It was actually pretty interesting, and I've seen people kind of flip to the side of being okay with it, where Leatherface is just completely immune to uh, door stuns moving forward. He is supposed to be the big bad, and it is a little funny when you have like these small survivors who are able to just knock him over like he's nothing. So I know that a lot of people thought that that was an intentional feature being tested or something like that, but it looks like it's a bug and it looks like they're getting it out of there. So Bubba will be falling on his face just like everyone else soon enough. We have Danny unable to tamper the valve. This is another one that a lot of people thought that maybe this is something moving forward because the valve is super powerful with Danny, especially in places like the new map in the mill where you have it spawning at the very top of the map and there's a well that leads right to the front door. So that's a bug. Danny's gonna be getting fits. He's gonna be able to use his ability on the valve moving forward, which I guess is good because you want Danny to be able to use his ability as intended. This next one is very interesting because it's been around for a while and I know a lot of people have been frustrated with it. And that's Sissy being unable to poison through gaps. I don't know how long it's been, but it just came, kind of came out of nowhere where she just wasn't able to do that. Even over the barricade, sometimes it'd be a little finicky if you'd actually hit that. But moving forward, Sissy will be able to poison through crawl spaces and barricades and stuff like that, which is really good because it's one of those better things about Sissy is she's able to slow down that type of looping when you when you have a victim who's just constantly hitting wall gap after wall gap. But that's our fits in testing. We have three big ones here that a lot of people have been waiting for, so I'm happy to see that. Under investigation, we have tuning, grappler, and fast hands. This is actually really dope it's one of those things that was extremely vocal from the community with most people just saying throw fast hands out of here and grappler being a, hit, a huge issue so i'm happy to see that 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 is under investigation we should see some changes here soon with that and then next we have leatherface's rev exploit which honestly not sure what that's about i it might be turning off your chainsaw before you stall situation i don't know if that's true um but whatever it is it's getting fixed and then we have virginia's boon and bone scraps Another thing that I'm not too sure about. I I've, haven't got a chance to play a ton of Virginia, so I'm not sure what these metas are or, or these exploits are, but it looks like it's on the list. You guys will have to let me know in the comments what is going on with Leatherface's Rev exploit and Virginia's Boon and Bone Straps. For the needs more info, we have two things here, trap and snare animation issues and grandpa interactions. Now, if the grandpa interaction has to do with stabs, I can see that. <laughs> Stabbing grandpa is super wonky sometimes, You'll run up to him and just there won't be any prompt. Nothing will happen and you get killed for it. So if that's what they're looking into, I'm really happy to see that. They do say at the bottom of the patch, one of the bigger issues that a lot of people were upset about. Issues regarding Virginia's skill tree and her cosmetics not unlocking will be fixed in our upcoming April 16th patch. Please be on the lookout for the patch notes next week for further details on upcoming fixes. Obviously, those are some of the huge ones. Now, like I said earlier, what I wanted to see on this list that I don't see is the lobby situation, the backfill situation, all that stuff. In my opinion, that's the number one biggest issue for the game is the lobby experience. And I, I know they're working on it. I would just like to hear a little bit more about that process and hopefully they get a fit for it soon. In my opinion, no matter what content, no matter what bugs, no matter what characters, victims, whatever you do, the game will never truly thrive until we fix that lobby experience, that backfill issue. And if you enjoyed this, you should check out our gameplay series, Meet the Slaughters. A lot of funny moments in Texas. We have a full playlist on the channel. I hope to see you there. Make sure to slash that like button, subscribe and notification set to all. And I'll see you in the next one. Till then, don't do drugs, don't have sets. No, yeah, I'm with
never drink or do drugs. Every Mai Tai.